Chris, I want to welcome you to the CloseTheDeal.com podcast. You are coming from Valencia, and this is the 11th country that you've lived in, which your role has enabled you to do, live all over the world. Now, you also, so welcome to the show. Um, Good media. Hopefully, we can help some people close some more deals. Absolutely. And I love that. You know, you are uh, the CEO of Icons of Real Estate. We're going to unpack what that is in a second. But I want to start with the fact where you are in Valencia. I've been to Spain. I love Spain, Madrid, Sevilla, um, Granada. But you're in another beautiful town. But when you're taking a client out to eat in Valencia to do business, or it's lunch, dinner, breakfast, whatever it is, where are you taking that person to do business to close the deal? It's a fantastic question. But as I have a remote business and I make USD and I work in the US, I uh -huh. never ever take clients out to dinner. It's so rare in the more than a decade I've been in this game that I've uh -huh. ever met a client face to face. I've we've got a few Australian clients. I'm originally from Australia. Sometimes I haven't been to the country in five, six years. But uh, when I do, we go have some beers and have a good time. Uh, I go to, go to the US every now and then, and sometimes I meet up with clients, but it's pretty, pretty rare. Like, I'm all about doing business on the internet. I have an internet company, and it's, That's it weird. is certainly, especially in this day and age, like, you know, when COVID hit, like, that sent a lot of businesses down the, down the chute. Like, it was the best thing that ever happened to us because everyone got used to what I was fine. <laughs> all right. Well, the next question I have is, who or what are you great prefer that help you get you where you are today? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's probably a boring answer, but I'm very grateful for my wife and my family because mm -hmm. they help support me and help me, well, get purpose to do this stuff, right? It's like, yeah. You know, I wish I could say that life was easy and, you know, it was just always green fields and you know, rainbows and lollipops, but it's not. It goes through some ups and downs and it's really nice to have a, a supporting partner that, helps you with those down times to lift you back up again but also like having kids to like yeah if some days yeah if, if it gets really bad you're like i just won't give up and it's like can't give up dude like you've got people that literally depend on you providing for them so it makes it a really easy decision get off your lazy ass and get back to work that's pretty motivating all right um so let's talk about your journey, because you lived you, Australia, you're from originally from Australia, you live in Valencia, and there's, there's 10 countries in between there. Um, did you start out in the SEO business? I mean, that's where I know your background from. Did, it, 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 or what was the journey to get you where you are, where you now focus specifically with real estate, the real estate? Yeah, stuff? I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll put it in a real, real quick form. So yeah, originally from Australia, studied software engineering at, at university. And there's two places you can make lots of money as a software engineer. You got to move to Silicon Valley and work for a tech startup where you're going to work in finance. I took the finance route, moved to London, made lots of money. Life was fantastic up until the global financial crisis came and took my job away. I, I, I lost my job, as did everyone else. I knew, and there was no jobs to be had. Well, none of them were paying anywhere near what we used to make. And so that's when I started traveling the world. What the hell am I going to do with my life? Mm -hmm. uh, playing around on lot, online, mm -hmm. built some websites, doubling in SEO, and this is kind of fun. Uh, and really been doing that ever since. But one of the issues with SEO is, well, you're not creating demand, right? You're, you're putting a message in front of, of what people are looking for. Mm -hmm. And so when the people are looking for a dog walker or, or a blue widget or a wind farm, whatever it is, a real estate agent, they go into Google and they're typing in that search query. And so you can help any business. And I'd always heard the, the, the saying, riches are in the niches. You know, you Americans know it should be pronounced niches. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, I was always like, well, yeah, what, what niche should we work in? Because it's like this works for anyone and we can do it for anyone. And uh, we did it for anyone for a very long time. And that makes it hard because you, know, you get a new client who's you know, a corporate lawyer, you have to learn about their business. You, know, you have to learn, understand who their ideal customer is, you know, what that person's searching for, how to get your, their website in front of them, but also how to get that website visitor then to take action and book a call and buy whatever they're looking for, whatever that client does. 
So it makes it very challenging. You know, your content writers have to learn about different industries, different content, and it's hard. And uh, someone, it was actually through podcasting, someone in- introduced me to Reed Poussin, actually. He's a multifamily, a multifamily guy, a- Australian, that lives in the US, pretty big in the multifamily niche. Yeah, he, he invited me on his podcast. We did some work together. And then I went on a whole bunch of real estate podcasts. Wow, these real estate people, they make a whole lot of money. There's a whole lot of money. <laughs> and uh, then we, we learned more and more about residential real estate. And when real estate agents have no freaking idea what they're doing. Like these, they, you know, they're professional salespeople. They go out and sell houses all day long. They don't understand how to build websites, write content, you know, really anything about their online market or other way. This is a great niche. It's a niche. Mm-hmm. That no one's going to stop work living in houses anytime soon. Mm-hmm. Going to need someone that's going to buy or sell you the house. So, like, that's a great niche that it's not going to go away. How many houses are there in the US? Like a gazillion. So it's a huge niche. I think there's 1.5 million real estate agents. Mm-hmm. And there's you know, high value per, per sale. We don't have to help an agent sell too many houses per year to make it way worth it. Like you're talking ahead and it's like, man, the return on that investment is fantastic. So once I worked that out, I went guns blazing and you know, we, yeah, that's what we launched on kinds of real estate brand. And that's really what we've spent the last bunch of years focusing on. So what was the switch that you said, okay, well, I'm going to finally do it. It was the podcast that you went on and you saw that was, well, it, was it was, it was, it was. Definitely that first podcast. I mean, that was a multifamily one. And uh, yeah, I started learning about that and getting introduced to other podcast hosts and just you know, doing what I do, talk about SEO. But then through uh, speaking to those different podcast hosts, getting new clients, that's often how we get clients too, is I'll be speaking to a podcast host. I'll tell them about SEO. It's fantastic. Can you do that for our business? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, for anyone. And that's really what started our parade into the real estate world. But then... Yeah, real estate in itself is huge. Like even when we started in the real estate world, we had multifamily clients, you know, people that are people that are raising capital, people that are trying to get uh, to actually get people into their apartment buildings. Yeah, you know, doing triple net leasing, uh, self storage investing, uh, and then like you know, residential real estate, luxury real estate, uh, you know, sell my house fast, distressed kind of real estate. Like you know, real estate gets really poor, and just the more you can tighten down the niche, the easier it is for everyone. The easier it is to make sales because the last person you talk to is pretty like pretty much like the next person you're going to speak to. So it's you know, get easy to get your message right. It's way easier for our content writers because you know whether you're selling a house in California or Texas or Florida, it's, it's pretty much the same. You know, it's like someone searching homes for sale near me, San Diego, homes for sale near me, Miami. And so they're not having to learn about a whole different industry. Sure, you might have to learn something about that industry. Oh, this area is Hispanic or this area is you know, luxury or whatever the heck. But it's not like having to learn about a whole new industry, which just makes the whole the work a whole lot easier. And you are a registered, you have your real estate license in the United States. Is that yes. right? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, we, uh, we eat our own dog food. <laughs> So, like, I mean, I, we got pretty good at making residential real estate agents a whole bunch of money in a way. Why are we doing SEO for them? And uh, they're making all the money. I should go and get my, my real estate license. And th- thankfully, I, uh, the U.S. is one of the countries I lived in when I was a little kid. Went, went to school. My dad moved there when I was, and I did year one and year two in uh, California. And so, like, they were giving out social security numbers to everyone back then. And so I'm able to get a, a real estate license in the US pretty easy. Uh, joined, joined a brokerage, the same brokerage as a lot of our clients work with, and then just do this, do the same thing they do. Work with uh, agents that we that we hire. We send them the leads for our own SE, and we get paid at a much higher rate than than a client pays. I love that. All right. So how does it work? Okay. So you're it, it now is your niche niche. <laughs> Is it the U.S. or do you do this in other countries as well? But since you yeah. since you've lasered down, since you've lasered in on the real estate side, and the U.S. market's pretty big enough, so I figured okay. I figured that'll do. Yeah, I I we we really focus on the U.S. so much so, you know, I even put Zs in in my spelling now. Take out the S's, you know, like maximize. Yeah. 
but yeah, it's like it's the US is huge, right? It's a it's just such a fantastic market because it's so big. Like Australia, my home country, it's tiny. You know, it's like it's smaller than Texas, or smaller than Florida. So it's like why bother? You know, plus I'd take USD over AUD any day of the week. Yeah. So let's talk about how you help real estate agents. You mentioned before our call, you work with the podcasting team, you're doing both, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's, let's, that's, let's break it down into the two pieces. Let's start with the podcasting piece and then let's come back to, to your expertise. The question that's how I know about you is through SEO. Uh, I know about you all in the States, in, here in Europe because of your SEO work. Talk to me about the podcasting piece and, that, and, and how you help real estate agents in that regard. Two quick things. Number one, at 57 years old, I do my best to hit the gym four or five days a week and my body screams for the right nutrients. To get that done, I take AG1 every single day before I walk out that door. Got a special offer for you. You get a free year supply of K2 and D3 and five travel packs of AG1. Just visit any of the landing pages on closethedeal.com and you'll find the special offer. Number two, I've got a brand new book coming out called Your First Franchise Roadmap. You can get a free copy of it at yourfirstfranchise.com forward slash roadmap. Yourfirstfranchise.com forward slash roadmap. Now let's get back to the show. Let me let me switch around the, the oh, other way if you, oh, that's fine. Don't, if you don't mind. So SEO is certainly what we're known for and what we do. And SEO, it take, it's the best name investment you're ever going to get, right? Because okay. you know, if you do Google ads or Facebook ads, those work. I mean, Google's a multi-trillion dollar company and Facebook's close to it because of their ads. Their ads work. But as soon as you stop spending, you stop getting. You know, your ads, you only pay for them that day. And it's only ever going to get more expensive and more competitive as time, time goes on. And same with any, like if you do social media, like, a, like you make content for YouTube or, or, a, or, or Facebook, like even Mr. Beast, right? His videos from five years ago don't get views anymore. It's like he puts content out, it gets a whole bunch of views and then it disappears into the, the ether. Yeah. And into the ether. And same if you're posting on Facebook or Twitter or whatever, it stays there for a bit and it disappears. The difference with SEO is you make content, you rank it and it stays ranked. You know, and it's going to bring you visitors month after month, year after year. And so it just keeps getting bigger and bigger, like a switch. You know, like that's just fantastic. You know, if you, and eventually if you want to stop doing this here, boom, you stop it and it just keeps on generating traffic. You mm -hmm. know, ads won't do that. Social, social media, make it other times. The content will not do that. But the problem with SEO is it takes a bloody long time and it's expensive. And so. Really, we could only work with top tier agents, you know, because like we started three thousand dollars a month, and yeah, you know, like that's a that's a big hit, and especially if you've got a really crappy website, mm -hmm. like you can be looking at six months before you're going to get any return. So you're like eighteen thousand dollars to start with, and really, it's one year that uh, <laughs> you're looking at to get a really good return on most websites. Some some have a better foundation, and you get it going in two three months, but Really, even with real estate, you've got leads coming in today, you're not going to close that deal for a while and you're not going to get paid for a while after that. So there's that lead, that, that lead time as well. And so we're like, well, if we can only work with the top 10% of real estate agents, then it's cutting our market smaller. You know, it's, there's 1.5 million agents in the US. It's still a market of 150,000 agents. It's not too, too bad. But it's also harder to get me in front of these people highly successful people that are running really great businesses are harder, harder to reach because they've already got lots of systems in place. Well, like, what can we do to smaller agents? And so a big way of how we connect with people is through our Icons real estate brand. You know, we directly into the best agents around the country, which gives us a relationship with that agent to be like, hey, Mr. Agent, you're freaking amazing. You sold $500 million worth of property last year. Tell us about how great you are. And so it builds that relationship. And you know, then if they want to talk about SEO, then we do. And that is definitely a way that we get clients and it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. But we're also making content for the other, you know, 1.4 million, 1.35 million uh, real estate agents who aren't at that level. 
And so then we needed something to, well, to help them get to that level where they can afford to spend three, five, ten thousand dollars a month on, on SEO. And that's where we launched our podcast our service, which is exactly what we do with Icon. And so if you're, say, a residential real estate agent, you generally focus on one area. You know, you're not you're not selling all over the US, you're not even selling all over your state. You know, if you're in a really big city like Miami or LA, you're probably not even selling all over the city. You're selling in a few little suburbs. You know, and so we create content that's specific for that. And say you're in South Atlanta, then you're writing creating content about South South Atlanta. So you can interview you know more mortgage broker brokers about what what interest rates are going to do. Or, you know, other real estate agents about upcoming areas, you know, areas that you don't want to be buying in. You can be interviewing, you know, uh, general contractors about how to increase your home home value. You know, people in your local area, people that you work with that can provide really great content for your local area. And to be the the best real estate podcast on the south side of Atlanta, well, it's not that freaking hard. You know, and you don't need... You know, you don't need to be, be Mr. Beast and have you know, 100 million people listen to each each episode. It doesn't matter. You know, if 10 people listen to it and three become a lead and one buys a house, well, it's way worth doing, right? Mm-hmm. Plus, the people that you're interviewing, they're perfect referral partners, right? If you're, if you're interviewing you know, mortgage brokers and general contractors and landscapers all in your local area, you're building a great relationship with them. They're posting episode that they appeared on your podcast on their social media so it expands your reach around atlanta but it also you know even if no one listened to the podcast whatsoever or no one had there was no social media contact at all like if you do an episode a week that's 52 per year that's 52 referral partners per year you know if each one of them sends you one freaking referral you know, and a mo- broker can send you a bucket load that 52 freaking referrals a year like how many of those deals do you need to close to make worth? You close ten percent, and you're selling now more houses than the average agent that sells three five houses per year. You, you just hit on something that's really key. Um, a lot of people think you have to have a massive audience, but it's those relationships that are built through interviewing conversations like this that open the doors. That's the that's the magic of podcasting right there that people don't realize. Uh, yeah, having a nice audience is great and that grows and grows and that does grow over time. It starts to multiply, but starting in your own backyard is the best strategy always is. And you work and you work your way out. So that makes sense. I love the strategy. Um, and then, and then you eventually turn that person into an SEO client over time, which That's is exactly really it. Smart we help, from your help, perspective. Them, help, help them, help them grow their business and, you know, like that's what we say. It's like, well, I want to be doing business with you. How long are you going to be in real estate? Yeah. On a big return until you retire. How do you help them with the podcasting? What what with what, what, what ways do you help? Yeah, so we do yeah. absolutely everything, right? Because okay. most podcasts fail because they don't have any. Well, people get busy running a business is hard. You're spinning so many. It's not easy. Plates. I can I can attest to it. It's not easy having it's a podcast. Not. And you get you get busy. You get shiny o- object syndrome. So we take care of it all. We have a conversation while well, our podcast coach has a conversation. Say, hey, tell us about your ideal client. How do you close your deals? Who do you need to get in front of? Who are your referral partners? And we, we build your audience avatar and your referral partner avatar. Mm. Uh, then we you know, uh, put together your, your one sheet to make you look really cool. You know, it's, especially if you've got no, no online presence, we need to build a bit of an online presence first. Mm-hmm. Then we reach out to, out to people like your perfect referral partners and book them. Hey, you know, yeah, you know, Johnny's launching his uh, podcast called "The Best Real Estate Agent on the South Side of Atlanta." Probably something a little bit more more creative yeah. than that. Yeah, uh, you know, we, we'd love to have a, a guest, and we basically inform the the guest what the show will be about. You're a mortgage broker. We're going to be speaking for 25 minutes. We're going to ask you some questions about you know how interest rates going to be affecting the rest of 2024. You know, how's the best way to get a loan? That's that sort, of, that sort of cool stuff. And then yeah, you know, we'll publish it. Episode syndicated through all podcast networks. We'll provide you with social snippets so you can share with your audience. And voila. Then we we coach our client, who is the host, on how to be a host, which is pretty easy, right? You, you, you're getting on a call like this. It's a conversation. What you're an expert on. You know, you're yeah. a realtor that's 
for 10 years on the south side of Atlanta, you know that area pretty well. And so you're asking some questions about what you talk day in, day out. You hit the record button just like this. You send it to us. We handle the rest. Mm-hmm. You know, we handle the communication with the guest. We then do the editing. Then we do the syndication. We provide the social media snippets, both for your socials, uh, for the guest socials, and on turning into Rockstar. Yeah. Just, and, it, you know, the, the, the value of this is, is it, 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 just, for example, there's somebody who I've interviewed before that I'm going to introduce you to because you would be perfect for his audience. He helps the real estate world. On the commercial side, on the back side, writing all their emails. I mean, that's his little, that's his niche. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's his niche. Well, but and, and that's somebody I'm going to introduce you to when we're done here. So that's what people need to hear in this conversation. There's the conversation that you and I are having right now. And then there's the conversation that happens before and after this show. And that's the real value of podcasts and plus building the audience. And over time, that grows. And then you, you got you, you you're cooking with grease there. It's not for sure, sure. I've been on I've been on literally hundreds of podcasts, and that's how I continue to get on more podcasts. Is hosts like yourself? Hey, can I introduce you to anyone? And would you mind introducing me to a few people? And oh, yeah, you've been on one, you get three more invitations. I love it, and that's and that's how it works. All right. So, what is your vision going forward for the biz for your business? Yeah, I mean, I'm. Quite glad that we have diverse, uh, uh, like, you know, the internet is, is changing. AI is, well, it scared the pants off me a little, little bit when it first came out. Now I've kind of adjusted and like, it's all that. Yeah. You know, there is going to be a time that Google doesn't exist. You know, every mm-hmm. business comes and goes. Yeah. You know, uh, it, it's, it still feeds the, the lifeblood of my business. So I hope it's no time soon, but I want to be uh, adaptive. Mm-hmm. And that's very much why I like the real estate market because. As I said before, people are not going to stop living yeah. in houses anytime soon. That's correct. You know, smartphones, they may disappear. They will, they will eventually, right? So it's nice to have a business that's about connections. You know, and real estate really is that, right? It's just as you're talking about. Welcome, most, most realtors their businesses are referral partners. You know, you're speaking to a freaking human to, to sell that house. It's a huge human connection. You know, people buy from those that they know, like, and trust. And so we help real estate agents get known because you know, they can't buy from you if they don't know you. And then they you know, like you and trust you because they've heard you on a podcast. They're like, man, that guy sounds like an authority. Mm-hmm. You know, one, one thing that I, I think I mentioned to you when we we're offline is you know, when I'm on sales calls, often people go, hey, I just, just listen to like three podcasts you wrote. And I talk about the same thing every time. I must be boring. But, you know, but they... they Already know my story, and they already know are familiar with my funny accent, and they feel like you know you. It builds so much trust. So it's absolutely you know, like that's really where we're scaling is you know, well, helping as many agents as we can with our podcasts. Uh, you know, and the more more that we have, too, is the more that our icons network is able to promote them and help even more agents. Yeah, I'm really yeah, excited. It's, it's about growth. lifting. It's about lifting other people up. At the end yeah. of the day, I mean that's what you're doing. Which is which is really the, the beauty of it all. All right, last thing. Got your guidance. Somebody's considering becoming a real estate agent or going to their own business because it's the same thing. I mean, you go, you're a real estate agent. You're going into your business. You're running a, your business for yourself. Maybe you grow it into a brokerage at some point. What is your number one piece of guidance for somebody considering that route, leaving the corporate world? Yeah, I mean, I, I used to be in the corporate world as a software engineer, and it sucks the life out of you. Oh, I worked on the biggest software project in Europe. It, it took a passionate young software developer and to, well, crushed to me against it. Crushed me, crushed me. But the thing that makes every business live is being able to generate leads and be able to generate sales. I think it was uh, Larry Page from Google that said, you know, revenue cures all problems. And, you know, businesses have ups and downs, hopefully more ups and downs. That's what keeps you in business, but it's going to have downs. And if you can just bring in more leads and make more sales, then it takes away the stress and then you can just, well, survive and keep on going. Well, that is the perfect place to button it up. Chris, I want to thank you for being on the show all the way from Valencia. I love it. And uh, when you come to the States, let me know if you ever work your way down to New Orleans because we got a great market here as well for you. So maybe you can tap into our guys. Thanks, you, sir. And that is a wrap with Chris. And folks, you heard us talking about 
the real value, the genuine value of podcasting, which is the conversations that happen before and after. And during this episode, both of us realized, oh, I need to introduce you to, and I've got two people I'm going to introduce him to. He's got two people he's going to introduce me to. And that's how we build business. That's how we network using the power of podcasting, which is the people connecting the people. And that's, I love that part. And the SEO piece as well. If you are in need of SEO, which you probably are for your small business, for your real estate business, check out, check out iconsofrealestate.com, iconsofrealestate.com. Now, you know the drill. First of all, I want to thank you. I, I, I'm always grateful for anybody who has stuck around to the end to hear this piece. And I want to thank you for being part of our community. Make sure to hit the bell, like, subscribe, all those things, and be intentional and make today a great day. Take care. Bye.